Okay, we've got an update. Uh, ooh, the TFP four one. Hard to get for a couple of years. We finally got a shipment of these chips. Thank goodness we're ready to put these back in stock. We have an update to this board since we were updating it anyways because we had to change the backlight driver and a couple other chips. Uh, we have a stomach QT connector if you want to reprogram the EDID. Uh, this is a uh, touch capable uh, USB and HDMI to RGB TTL converter chip. Great for just turning a normal TFT display into an HDMI monitor. All right, next up. Nudes, nudes. We want nudes. We got nudes, more nudes. Green nudes. Yeah. We got blue nudes. Let me get into this. Blues, yeah, blue nudes. And we got red nudes. So these are 1.2 meter long noodles of LEDs. Um, ultra, ultra flexible, silicone coated, um, really fun to use. They're basically EL, but exactly what you want EL to be, which EL isn't, because EL quiet. is kind of, yeah, it's quiet. it's quiet and it doesn't crack when the little wires inside break and there's no weird, annoying soldering to do. Um, you give it 24 volts because uh, these are the very long ones. We have shorter ones that use 3 volts or 12 volts. Um, but they're beautiful and they're PWMable as well. So you don't have to have any ridiculous inverter. Um, love these nudes. And we had them in white in the 1.2 meter long. And now we have them in red, green, and blue as well. Next up. Next up, we have um, this is might be useful for people doing LED illumination projects. This is double sided uh, analog LED strip that's 12 volt power and uh, I think cool warm and neutral white so can you go to the overhead i'll show this off because this is a little interesting so uh usually we have led strip that has leds on one side but this has on both sides which means and these are like nice flat leds so it's not going to give you a perfect 100, 360 but you're going to get essentially 360 degree um color and you can power them from uh 9 to 12 volts they are analog led strips so not digital you can pwm them this one is the warm white. Um, so you get, you know, you can see from the edge, you know, it is not as bright, but you still get lighting. You know, it's like if you, especially if you put this behind something, you have a little bit of distance and you have the light bounce around. Um, great for illumination. They're very thin, only six millimeters, I think by maybe three millimeters thick. Uh, so this is the warm LED. I have this on low. So this is the nine volts. Um, at 12 volts, I think it dropped about an amp. And then I'm betting this is the cool white one. So we have three temperatures. I think 300, 450, sorry, 3,000, uh, which is warm, 4,500, and then 6,000 cool. So this, I think, is the neutral white. Um, so three different colors. So this is good for you want to illuminate something and you want very thin, cool lighting. Um, this double-sided LED strip uh, will do a really beautiful job for you. Okay, and the start of the show tonight, besides you, Lady, our team, our community, our customers, everyone who makes and shares is... Dun, dun, dun. By request, we had a customer request for the ESP32 S3 Feather with a WFL external antenna connector, and we have it. So this is just like the ESP32 S3 Feather that we've stocked uh, for a bit, except that one had antenna, this one doesn't. This is the version with 8 megabytes of flash and no PS RAM, which means it's not great for CircuitPython because you don't get that extra PS RAM, but it's like perfect for use with Arduino, definitely. Um, or if you're using just like free RTOS or platform IO, it's going to be great. And you can connect an external WFL antenna. We have a WFL to SMA, RP SMA adapter in the store, as well as a 2.4 gigahertz antenna. It's not UFL. It's WFL, it's IPX3, not IPX1. Slightly different, so just watch out. Don't try to use a UFL connector. Otherwise, it's you know exactly the same pinout configuration. He has the stomach UT, USB-C for data and power, battery uh, connector, um, all the pins you know and love, feather format compatible. Um, great little board, love the S3. And now if you want an external antenna, uh, you're in luck, we have it. Nice new products. New, 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 new.